So there are many who say this move is a victory, having students take responsibility for the loans that they took out. But what's interesting is these are promises the president made repeatedly to students, and now we're seeing the forgiveness won't be moving forward. It impacts 40 million people, as you know, and it appears to really shine a light on the balance of constitutional power here. That's exactly right. On the one hand, it is really a very uh, broad, powerful decision because, as you accurately noted, it affects 40 million uh, individuals in the United States and $400 billion. And that's really a very large scope. But it also has profound impacts because it is a fundamental shift in the constitutional balance of powers here in Washington. And it really cues into the deference or the lack of deference that the Supreme Court provides to administrative agencies. The agencies, of course, are part of the executive branch. And there have been many decades of uh, significant deference to agencies. I, won't, I promise I won't get you lost in the legal weeds, but it was called the Chevron Doctrine. Just last year, the Supreme Court stood by a doctrine known as the Major Questions Doctrine to overturn some EPA greenhouse emissions regulations. That came up again today. The Supreme Court rejected the administration's move as an overreach, stating that under this doctrine, since it had significant economic and political consequences, Congress had to speak to it directly and explicitly. And Justice Kagan had a blistering dissent, noting that this is a huge shift in the law. And she raises some interesting points. So this decision is not shocking in its result, but it has major implications, not only from a financial, but from a constitutional standpoint. Certainly. So it sounds like borrowers will be resuming payments in the coming weeks. Will, will there be some unique challenges in a high interest environment? And how do you best recommend borrowers move forward here? Yes. So hopefully borrowers used the standstill period of a couple of years during the pandemic to put cash away. And their best strategy would be to try to redeploy cash as a means to pay down the principal balance of their loans. Unfortunately, not only did the Supreme Court rule that students individually lack legal standing to challenge this, but now, of course, we're in an increasing interest rate environment, which will further increase the second half of this year. This is very trying for the students. They have very limited options other than to try to preserve cash and to start to pay down that balance because the interest rate environment is only going to get worse. All right, important points to make. And thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.